One of the craziest things about blockchain is that all the activity is 100% public. You can actually see what big money is doing, which gives you a massive edge when you're discovering new crypto projects. For example, you can find people who got into a project like this, whenever it first launched, and went up 10x at its peak. And if you follow what big money was doing and you minted an NFT like this, you'd be up over 50x at the peak. Or if you bought this project on the floor like some of the big money, you'd be up over 8x at the peak and still above the prior lows even after cryptocurrency prices prices have gone down over the past few months. But how do you do this? Well, you have to know what you're doing. And in this video, I'm going to show you a secret on how you can spy on whale wallets to find new profitable crypto opportunities that might have otherwise gone unnoticed. I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. So one major strategy for gaining an edge in the crypto markets is definitely watching what big money is doing. You know, are they getting into new projects that nobody knows about yet? Ones that have just hit the scene? Or are they buying projects on the floor that a lot of other people are not even paying attention to? You know, how would you find this information out? Well, definitely the wrong way to do it is watch what people are talking about on social media. That's a huge problem. There's no transparency into this. And sometimes what people say they're doing is actually the opposite of what they're doing. So what if you could look at what people's actions are, not just what they say, because, you know, money talks. Well, that's what's great about the blockchain is that, you know, all the activity is totally public, totally transparent. And so you can see all the transactions and look at big accounts to see what big money is doing. So there's a problem to this as well. Sometimes finding these types of people can feel like trying to look for a needle in a haystack. You know, if you go on a website like etherscan.com, there's just an insane amount of active wallets that transact on a daily basis. You know, some of them are whales with big money. But how do you find them? You know, definitely a wrong way is trying to go to like, you know, token pages and looking at like the balance holders and like trying to see who has the big accounts because you're going to run into a big problem here. You know, you might find an account that hasn't made a transaction and, you know, over a year. It might be an exchange wallet and not an actual, you know, trader or investor. And, you know, just because a wallet has a high balance doesn't mean it actually has a history of making good calls on projects. But even if you could find that needle in the haystack, it might take you a really long time to sift through all this information and then start looking at wallets that are worth paying attention to. So, you know, what if you could just cut through all that noise and then find people who actually have a reputation for getting into good projects early? You know, wallets that have high balances with significant skin in the game. And then what if you could watch everything that they do and actually get, you know, actionable real-time alerts based on their history? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do today in this video. And I'm going to demonstrate this with an app that I actually built, okay? So this is a focus of mine over the past year or so is to analyze all the data on the blockchain to provide these types of insights. And I'm releasing an application that's going to help you do this on Thursday, March 31st. So make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, so let me show you how I'm able to use this application to identify whale wallets and what they're doing so that you can find projects that might have otherwise, you know, totally flown under your radar. So basically, it starts off with capturing a segment of people that you want to start paying attention to in terms of data, actually analyzing all that data and surfacing the whales that make sense paying attention to so that you're not just looking at noise. Okay, and, you know, you can just see an information highway as some of their most recent activity here. But then you can actually like go look at the individual wallets for those whales to look at their activity and say, like, are these people worth paying attention to? And do you want to find out about what they have in their wallets and what they might, you know, get into next? So here's an example when you go look at a wallet. Basically, you know, you can see that they uh, have a certain balance right now, um, that they have a, you know, significant increase over the past day. And uh, you can see the assets they hold in their wallet. But you can also see, you know, when they acquire these. That's really key because you, know, you might buy something just recently, but depending on how the price performed, that may not be a really good indication that this is somebody worth paying attention to. Again, just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you're necessarily making good calls. So you can, you know, check on this, like for example, this premium token, I'm just going to literally pull this out as an example. Uh, you can actually see when this was acquired, you know, that was first came in the wallet. And so if you look back on the date that, that happened, uh, you know, back in August, and then that basically was acquired right before it did this. <laughs> okay, that's a massive return on investment. So now, of course, the price has come down since then. So I guess if you held the token at the current levels, uh, you, it wouldn't be quite as high, but it'd still be profitable. Okay, it'd still be up from when it was acquired. And the whole key is that, you know, this this indication that this person has been early to projects that have performed really well in price. Now, of course, not everybody's going to call everything perfectly, 
But if I were in this situation, I would want to know, hey, what is this person doing? Because they're worth paying attention to. And so how can you do that? Well, you know, of course, you could just check their wallet every single day. That would be kind of really boring and waste all your time. But you can do things like create alerts. Okay, you could create an alert that says anytime this person does a transaction or they you know, move a token in and out of their wallet or they get an NFT in and out of their wallet, then you can you know, send a, a, a notification for this and specify, you know, how much money you want to be notified anytime it's transferred and then just get an alert. And that might show you like what actions they're taking, where are they putting money, where are they receiving money from so that you might find about a new project that you might not heard of that just came out or maybe a project that's on the floor that nobody is thinking about that these people are getting into. Now, another really cool feature of this is that basically you can start to see what wallets might be potentially associated uh, with these wallets because sometimes you know, people have a main wallet and then they go do activity in a different wallet, maybe to buy your projects or just to sort of, you know, hide their activities. So people aren't just like copying every single move. Okay, so you can uh, actually look at related wallets. So that's a pretty cool feature too. So you can see, um, you know, wallets that potentially associated with this based on where their uh, funds came from and where they went. You can see the number of transactions that went to those wallets where they, you know, sent funds or received funds over the past 30 days. And that's a pretty good indication that this could be a wallet that is linked to this person or that it's like a popular application that they use. There's, there's multiple possibilities here, but that gives you a starting point to find other clues about things you might want to pay attention to. And then you can just rinse and repeat this process. What assets they hold, where are they going, and what moves are they making next? And so that's what you can do for individual wallets. But again, we started off with a segment of people that you want to pay attention to. And so we can also derive in, insights based on what that entire segment is doing. So I'm going to show you some pretty cool tricks on that. So um, we can also track new projects as soon as they hit the chain, all right? Projects that are actually trending. It's, it's an entirely different feature of the application, but it has overlaps with what I'm talking about here. So let's look at that. So we can track uh, projects that were created within the last seven days that have significant financial inflows that are serviced by our proprietary algorithms here. They can see the amount of money that went their projects in the past hour, past day, et cetera, et cetera. We see the number of depositors, but we can also see the number of people from the segment that are using this. And so you can use this as social proof to start to see like, hey, are they getting into these new projects? Are they staying out of these projects? And that could help potentially inform like what you might want to look into. And so you can see like, here's a new NFT project that just launched. You know, I literally just pulling this up. People are minting it like crazy as we speak at the time of recording this video. You know, here's another project right here. It's another NFT project. And you can use, you know, this segment's behavior on aggregate as social proof for are they you know, getting into new projects themselves. And so in addition to seeing like what their activity is, you know, with new projects, you can just look at in aggregate, what are they doing, right? You can look at, you know, their activity as an information highway, some largest crypto transfers from this segment over the past 24 hours. You can look at them in terms of the amount that was actually sent versus just recent transactions. You can just see like, hey, you're going to see new tokens on here or new assets that you might not have otherwise discovered that are trending within this segment itself. By the same token, you can also see um, you know, the overview of their portfolio distribution to see what this portfolio looks like in aggregate and also find about new projects that you might not otherwise know about and use as a social proof that, you know, they're hell within the segment. All right. And that's really just scratching the surface on how you can do this to start spying on big whale wallets to see you know, what are they doing so that you can find out about, you know, new crypto opportunities um, that you may not have otherwise heard of. So again, I'm going to be launching this application on Thursday, March 31st, and I want to invite you to join. So make sure you hold your spot with the link down below. This is an absolute game changer. It's going to make finding all this stuff a lot easier. Because again, at the end of the day, you know, you don't want to be spending all your time on social media. It takes way too much time. And also, you don't know, like, whether people are doing what they're actually saying they are on social media. You want to look at people who are actually doing instead. And that's exactly what the blockchain can do. All the information is public. It's all transparent. You can verify all this activity on chain. But also, you know, then you have another problem of having to sift through all this information and make sense of it. Because you're probably not going to be able to do that, you know, with just all the data available on a public block explorer. It'd take you forever. I feel like if I in a needle in a haystack. And even if you did find that, it's not really a rinse and repeat strategy where you can just cut through the noise and find the information quickly. But that's exactly what this application does. And I'm super excited to introduce it to you. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It really helps this video out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And in the meantime, you know, if you're as fast as the technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They like you to be courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you'll take a master shortcut entirely, 
I actually become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.